Father, we're here tonight to pay our vow to you. We ask for the outpouring of your spirit tonight.
all us. But I feel it in my spirit to tell you that you don't have any reason to give up on God tonight. Don't give up on God. Because the first report is nothing before the sight of him before whom we stand. somebody to begin to lift up your voice and worship God this moment 
Lika brali engra shadu kombali kombra lukoshe bere boda baroja. Lift up your voice and speak in another tongue right now. Wherever you are around the world, wherever you are watching from, the Spirit of God is here. Something is about to unleash in your life. Vale cobra doja. Give him praise. Give him praise. Laga brada no i imbroli enga shabala doja. Vale cobra Lift up your voice and worship him. Mali cobra doja. Thank you, Father. We give you praise. Hallelujah. Wow, 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 wow. We give God praise for this opportunity once again to come into your house, to your homes, wherever you are. And from every city, from every country you are watching from. God is here tonight to begin a new order in your life. I believe so much that this edition will change your life. Will bring a new dimension of God's mercy and blessings in your life. So I decree and I declare that God's presence will begin to walk into your house this moment. Change everything that needs to be changed. You have suffered a lot. God is about to put a new life into your destiny. And I decree, receive in the name of Jesus. Receive in the name of Jesus. Can feel the awesome presence of God in this place. Wow. Wow. Somebody is getting relief of that sickness. Wherever you are, the power of God is hitting you strong right now. I can hear the sound of God, the sound of his voice, roaming, walking in their life, walking in your home right now. There is somebody called Elena from South Carolina. You got a bad news of cancer of the throat. But I hear God healing you right now. Receive in the name of Jesus. Ali kombrali engra shadu be kala no kiamba lo kule koli embra dozizia kutapa. Joseph, that you are called, you are called Joseph. You are having issues with your job right now. God is coming into your home. There is a testimony from you from this moment in the name of Jesus. I decree wherever you are watching, believe in God for something special in your life. This edition will mark a special invention of God's glory in your life. Receive in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout a big amen. Hallelujah. Tonight, we are coming here with a word. A word of you know, prophetic work to release your destiny to a new dimension of um, order. God gave me a word for you wherever you are. Watching me this moment. I want to thank, I want to thank uh, my brother, Kunle and his beautiful wife for this opportunity. And for all of you who are doing mighty work for God in this place. I'd like you to know that whenever God wants to create a product, we first of all create an environment. The environment will determine the kind of product that you're going to receive tonight. And God is telling me that this is a season of his mercy, unf unfailing mercy. You see, the mercy of God is so powerful. It's bigger than prayer. It's bigger than fasting. It's bigger than even your faith. Because it's talking about not just because you're a sinner or you're asking to be helped. The mercy of God is something that God only can do. He will do what you can do. You've tried. You've cried. You prayed. But this time is time to receive. God is getting ready this evening to give you a special dimension of his mercy. In the book of Psalm 102, verse 13, the Bible declares, You will arise and have mercy upon Zion. God is rising today to give you his mercy. I don't know the product you are believing God for, but there's an environment of mercy. That environment will give birth to that product that you desire. It could be your finances, it could be your, your job, it could be anything, it could be your, your health a challenge, whatever. You are believing God for a child. Whatever you are asking God to give to you this season, His mercy will give it to you. I'd like you to say a better amen if you believe this. I'd like you to know tonight that God has not forgotten you. He's still doing something big for you. Remember that He has offered you victory. Victory belongs to you, brother. You are not suffering from that cancer because God has abandoned you. But he has given you victory tonight. I'd like you to receive victory in the name of Jesus. The mercy of God has come to visit you tonight. There's no other thing you've tried from January to now. 
And then you look as if things are not working out. I'd like you to know, God is a good God. God is a merciful God. He says, I will have compassion upon whom I will have compassion. He says, none of him that will it, none of him that run it, but of him that show it mercy. The mercy of God will bring it to pass. In the name of Jesus, I come here tonight to declare over you and your family that the mercy of God will create that product of your desire. In the name of Jesus, that job will be given to you. That check will be given to you. That business will be activated now. Whatever you're going to in the, the sick bay right now, I decree, you'll be healed in the name of Jesus. Because the mercy of God is sufficient. Hallelujah. I can feel this thing here. Wherever you're watching somebody, you're crying all day. You've been believing God for this relief, this deliverance. His mercy is creating it for you now. As I'm talking to you, begin to jump up from your bed. Begin to jump up from that sitting room. The mercy has located you. And I decree, be healed in the name of Jesus. One thing is certain. God cannot fail his promise. Very certain. It doesn't matter what is confronting you, what is speaking negative words in your ears. The mercy of God will cause God to fulfill his promises in your life. You know, I come to realize that we pray. Yeah, we all pray. We fast. But you see, God, God's mercy changed David. David was not a perfect man. David was not a strong man. But God mercy found David. When I studied the book of, you know, you know, Kings and everything that David did in his days, I find, I figure something out. You see, David makes so much error in his life. But God does him with mercy to a point that he got a, 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 a tag on his life. The sure mercies of David. God so much gave David mercy that made him a mighty man that we can never forget. You see, many of us are believing God for different kind of things. But I'd like you to know, this is an, a season of God bringing an environment of mercy to produce that product of your desire. Maybe you see, you're talking about marriage. Maybe, maybe you want to get a good grade in your school. Maybe you want something, you know, about your business, your contract. Your, 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 you're having a, some kind of challenges in your marriage. There is an environment for it. And that environment God is bringing this season is his mercy. Mercy, mercy, mercy. And I decree to you that the mercy of God will locate you tonight. Wherever you're watching from, the mercy of God is ready. It's ready. He's set. And I decree tonight that, oh Lord, let your mercy fall upon everyone under the sound of my voice in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The second thing you should know tonight is that God does not lie. Mm. When God speaks, everything about him is truth. If God says you won't die, you won't die. If God says that you get that job, you'll get that job. If God telling you tonight that that situation will turn good for you, that's what will happen. That's what will come to pass. You know, I've, I've, I've served God in a little while. I've come to realize that God cannot fail a man. When God speaks, it speaks of his personality. When God speaks, it speaks of his majesty. It speaks of his capacity. God does not pray like a man. God lives in the realm of himself. So when God speaks, he doesn't look at the situation on ground. He speaks because of who he is. Tonight, God cannot lie to you. This edition in this August, God is going to give you what you have not experienced in the last 10 years. In the name of Jesus. Because his mercy is powerful. His mercy is powerful. You are believing God for marriage. You want to marry this year. This is a time. Hallelujah. This is a set time for you. He said, so God shall arise and have mercy upon Zion. We are Zion. We are the children of God. He has not abandoned you. Tell yourself, God has not abandoned me. So God cannot lie. God cannot lie. The third thing I want you to know tonight is that God can never be Please, with have faith. Whatever we are here to do tonight is that you must trust in the Lord. It takes faith to receive the mercy of God. Like I said, I said no, no product is permitted to exist without an environment that suits that product. You know what? Fish cannot survive in the land. 
the parliament for fish to, to thrive and, then, and to enjoy their life is in the, in the waters. And they see the firmament was created for birds to fly. And I'd like you to know as well that the forest is meant for animals. The bush. That's an environment where they have upper advantage of every other creature. And you know what? Our own environment is the presence of God. A man cannot survive without the presence of God. Look, without the presence of God, you're useless. That's why Adam was exposed to shame. He was exposed to nakedness. He was exposed to, exposed to hunger. He began you know, trying to be who God had not created him to be. When you receive the environment that God had made you to be, things begin to fall in place for you. And I want you to know, this season is a season of mercy. Mercy is drawn from the presence. When you are in the presence, you draw the mercy. And mercy produces the product. Hallelujah. Tonight, God will give you the product of your desire. You know, I, I was in America, you know, last month. And I saw God in action. You know, when I was called to preach in, in a city, Jazzaville, in Florida, I, I find that the mercy found me there. And then when I'm called to preach three days in that, in that church, I saw testimonies. In fact, I come to a point, I know, I say, God, I bury myself in your mercy. And I begin to see miracles upon miracles. And then, you know, I, I like you to know that God does not walk without your faith. Now they say you're going to die. Doctor, I've given a bandit over your life. No, it's nonsense. With the faith in your heart, God is will trigger the presence of God to you. And His mercy will remove that sickness. It doesn't matter what you've done. What you have committed. I'm not talking about sin. You're bigger than sin. Because the presence of God does not accommodate sin. When, when God exists, Satan does not exist. I told somebody, see, you are talking about being buried. I pray for this woman for after 13 years. She got twins, a bank manager here in Nigeria. And then I told her, I said, they said that you don't have anything, you don't have Philippian tube, you don't have this, you don't have that. That is nonsense. You know why? Because Jesus came by the mystery that beyond science. That's why in the, throughout his ministry, he never talked about being buried or being, having a child. Because he dealt with it by, by the mystery of his birth. Barrenness was destroyed. That woman in London, I know they've given you that. You can't, you can't, you're about 47 years old. And they're telling you today that you can't conceive. I'd like you to know. You don't need a man to conceive. You need the Holy Spirit to conceive. The power of God will overshadow you in that room. And within nine months from today, you will come online to testify what God has done for you. I decree the mercy has been created. And everyone receive in the mighty name of Jesus. So believe God for something unusual this week. Believe God for something unusual tonight. Believe God for something uncommon. You know, I, I believe God before I travel to America. And then, and then after praying for somebody and I preach, I never thought that something like that could happen. They gave me a car in America. I don't know these guys. I don't know who they are. But I came into that place. I believed God for something. I was full of expectation. I knew that something unusual will happen. You know, so tonight, don't just watch. Don't just, you know, you know, you know we come into your house tonight to create some kind of, you know, you know, radical change, brutal transformation. You have suffered enough. But God is remembering you tonight. By the Holy Spirit, change has appeared. By the Holy Spirit, change has arrived. I'd like to pray for you in a moment. Wherever you are, I'd like to pray for you. Prophetically. That within seven days from now, the power of God will bring that to pass in your life. That product of your that you've been desiring for ten years. The product of children. The product of job. The product of marriage. The product of you know, you know, healing. The product of, you know, transfer, visa, green card, whatever. There's somebody in Mexico. You're watching. You've been, you're almost giving up. You're into drugs. God telling me to tell you tonight. Your deliverance has arrived. Sin is killing you. But God is telling me to tell you. His power is upon you right now. You're going to feel the power of God wherever you are right now. And your transformation has arrived. In the name of Jesus. Every one of you watching, I pray and I prophesy that this August is an August of unfailing mercy for you. 
God's mercy will bring it to pass in your life in the name of Jesus. I pray that that sickness, I pray that that, that joblessness, they are gone in the name of Jesus. That cancer, that migraine headache, that HIV, whatever the, the devil has placed in your life, by God's mercy, I command them to go in the name of Jesus. Every sickness is healed in the name of Jesus. Everyone under the torment of Satan, you are healed now in the name of Jesus. Whatever that devil is placed upon you. Hear me and hear the word of a prophet. Within 24 hours from now, your change will happen in the name of Jesus. I pray for you right now. Whatever the enemy is making you, cause a woman you've been crying, I can see you, I can, I can feel your tears. Oh my God. You are in Lagos, you're watching, you're crying, you've been weeping for what they have done to you. They have accused you wrongly. I pray for your vendetta. I pray for your deliverance. From now on, God's hand will deliver you from that matter. In the mighty name of Jesus, the mercy of God goes with you. As we continue, the mercy of God will go with you. The mercy of God will take you throughout this year in the name of Jesus. Wherever you go, the mercy will locate you. Whatever you do, the mercy will locate you. Wherever you speak, the mercy will locate you. I command the mercy of God to fill your home in the mighty name of Jesus. The unfailing mercy of God is your portion in the name of Jesus. Shout glory! I know you will testify. I know you will testify. Because God cannot lie. God cannot fail his promises. And God cannot be pleased with our faith. And because you believe tonight, because you believe, because you believe, because you believe, because you believe, God will fulfill it in the name of Jesus. He said, just believe, you will see the glory of God. You will see it. You will see the glory of God. I say, you will see the glory of God in every ramification of your life. You will see the glory of God. Lift up your hand and give him praise tonight. Father, we thank you. We give you praise for this hour. We thank you. Thank you for your unfailing mercy. Give him praise wherever you are. We are watching from America, from Asia, from, from Japan, from, from South America, from, from, from England. You are watching from Africa. You are watching from you know, South Asia. You know, wherever you are watching from, the hand of God is upon you. The, the beauty of God is upon you. The spirit of God is upon you. The anointing of the Holy Ghost is upon you. The glory of God is upon you. You know, I want to close with this. One of the things that can make the mercy of God available for you tonight is your hunger. Are you hungry for the mercy of God? Open your heart. Open your heart. And the mercy shall fill your heart. Wherever you are. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? The level of your hunger determines the level of the mercy of God that will bring it to your life. I'd like you to know that develop a hunger tonight. Wherever you're watching from, develop a hunger. That hunger will draw the mercy of God to you. And that mercy is an environment, the new environment for this new season. Environment that will bring forth your desired products. Your desire products. I don't know the product you want God to create. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you for giving us time to come into your heart tonight. God bless you. God bless you. Continue to, you know, you know, you know enjoy the mercy of God. Till Jesus come. In case you're not born again, please remember that Jesus is the only way, the truth, and the life. Thank you so much. God bless you. I give you all the glory. Lift up your hand. Let's give him praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise.